pretty gang it is jam your head braid boss in charge girl first of all hashtag pretty gang in the comments stop playing with me pretty gang pretty gang pretty gang i am here to talk to you guys about how much you should be charging for your braids yes ma'am i have two other videos on this channel so hopefully i can let it slide up here somewhere i'm gonna leave it down below but of course if you're watching this when you're watching this these are the newest of the new prices now first thing i want to get out the way first things first boo boo these are just suggestions. These are just recommendations. Ma'am, honey, baby, sis, friend, you can do whatever you want to. Okay, you can charge whatever you want. But when we're talking about charging for braids, there's a couple of things that you need to take into consideration. So y'all know I got my notes for my folks, okay? So the first thing you need to, well, there's five things you need to think of when you're charging for your services. First of all, go watch my other video, Charge What You Worth. I came for some of y'all next in there, so I need y'all to go watch that video right watch this go watch that okay so five things you need to take into consideration first of all your skill how long have you been doing this a new booty braider versus a seasoned braider you're probably not going to charge the same exact thing the second thing you need to think about is your speed how long does it take you to do some things there's some people it takes them four hours to do two layers some people it takes them two hours to do two layers so your skill matters the next thing that matters is your neatness. Sometimes I look at some people's braids, I'm like, baby, the braids are new, but they look about a week old. So your neatness is something you need to take into consideration as well as your products. Y'all know, we know some of these products are starting to cost more and more money. So you should be incorporating what your, what your products cost you into your charging. And on the community tab of my channel, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel now. Um, on the community tab, I ask you guys, how are you charging for your breaks? How did you come up with your prices? And more people, say, I had two options. I said, are you charging based off of like your skill or are you charging based off of what you see other people or other braiders doing? And most people say they're charging based on other braiders, which is you're charging based off of the industry, right? So your skill matters, your speed matters, your neatness matters, your products matter, and what the industry is charging matters. Next. I'm going to get into what I see as being charged overall, so you might want to take a seat. Okay. All right. So first of all, we're just going to talk about fees that you can or should be charging. So the first fee is a deposit fee. I scoured Instagram, Facebook, and I went to some people's personal sites, their booking sites, to see what people are charging. So for deposits, people are charging $25 to $35. Okay. Late fees. People are charging if people are late. If you're more than 15 minutes late, some people are charging. So some people are charging $10 to $20 to a client if they do show up to their appointment, but they're late. People are also charging for cancellation fees. If somebody cancels on you within 24 hours, some people are charging $15 to $20. Now, the thing about a cancellation fee is you can charge it for the next time that somebody books you. You let them know, hey, last time you canceled on me, I'm going to charge you for what you booked and a cancellation fee. Or some people are using, um, they're using booking sites, which I have a video on booking sites. So I'm going to leave it in the description below or I'm going to let it slide up here. Um, but some people are using booking sites where they're capturing people's credit cards. So if there is a late fee, the late fee is automatically charged and the person knows once you put your credit card information in here, you are subjected to a late fee if you are late, okay? Um, people are also talking about a travel fee, right? Some people are charging a flat fee, some people are charging per mile. I have a video on that. I'm going to leave it below or I'm going to let it slide up here, okay? Some people are charging either a flat fee or by miles, okay? And the last but not least, people are charging a consultation fee. Some people, this is, I saw this specifically with braiders who also do locks. And I saw this specifically with braiders who also do hair. So more cosmetology side, more than the hair styling side. But I see people charging $15 to $20 to pretty much have a 15 minute consultation about what's going on with somebody's hair, right? Some people might be thinning, some people might have alopecia, some people might want a specific style, some people might want to see if their hair is um, long enough for you to grab, to braid. So you can be charging a consultation fee, which is about $15 to $20. Now, I noticed also that people who are mobile braiders charge by a different increase amount than people who actually work out of a shop. So what I saw was people who do mobile braiding so willing to come to you, I see they charge by a $25 increment. And I saw that people who are in shops are charging by a $50 increment. 
For example, say I, this is just an example. I am not saying this is a current charge, but say I charge $25 to do, um, say I charge $25 to do one letters. Boom. As a mobile braider, but I'm seeing that mobile braiders are charging $25 while people that are in the shop are charging $75. You get it? A $25 to $50 increment depending on mobile and shop, okay? And you guys know as braiders, we go based off of large, medium, small, right? So the largest is the cheapest, the smallest costs the most, okay? So let's get right into it. Box braids, $125 for large, $150 for medium, and $175 for, law, for, sorry, for small. Again, these are just suggestions. You can add a $25 increase or decrease based on what you do. Are you mobile? Are you in a shop? Okay. Then for designs, stitch, and feed ins, I see people charging $75 for small, I mean $75 for large, $100 for medium, and $125 for large. For crochets, I see people charging $150 for large, $175 for medium, and $200 for small. For Havana Twist and Marley, people are charging $175 for large, $200 for medium, and $225 for large. For Senegalese, Passion and Fox hairstyles, Fox Twist, Passion Twist, Senegalese, people are charging $200 for large, $225 for medium, and $250 to $300 for small. Okay? For those of us who do locks, I see people who do starter locks, they start your locks for 100. Retwist, 75. I see butterfly locks for 200. And these are on the large size, right? So, retwist, large, 75. Medium, 100. Small, 125. Butterfly, I've seen it for 200 for large. 225 for medium, 250 to 300 for small, and for goddess locks, they start off at 250 for large, 275 for medium, and 300 to 325 for small. Okay, again, you guys, all these prices are just a suggestion. I saw some somebody put, um, what about inflation? Things are going up. Yes, ma'am. Gas is up. Food is up. Girl, even water is up. Girl, I went to go to State of Brothers. Water is $5. Water the other day was just $2.99. Okay? So everything has gone up. So all of these things are just suggestions. These are things that I went to look around on people's Instagrams, Facebooks, and their personal websites to see what are other braiders charging. Okay? So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to hashtag Pretty Gang in the comments. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.